three ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, welcome to a fresh new autumn episode of the top 3 selection on the hottest ghost videos circulating on the net. We always try to bring material that is able to leave doubt, discarding the blatantly false one. If you like this content and want the series to continue, please help the channel, subscribe and press the bell to stay updated. Let's begin our journey to third position. The Cat on the Hot Roof In third place, we have a video posted on the Reddit forum by user named Bardenal, on October 25, 2021. The video is titled, Our Cat Has Been Knocking Things Over at Night. I set up a surveillance cam to see what he's doing. I don't know what to make of it. This video was filmed by his indoor security camera on the night of October 17, 2021 at 0015. In the apartment, located on the second floor of a residential complex, his cat lives and he is usually very quiet. Our cat has been knocking things over in the living room and waking us up at night for the past few weeks. This has surprised us, because during the day he is very quiet and rather inactive. Last night I set up a surveillance camera in the living room to clarify his behavior with the vet. The refraction of the light is probably due to the infrared camera, which also reflects the pot, the plant inside the pot seems to be moved by an air conditioning system. We thought he was on the table sniffing the decoration, but he was at the sofa, on the left, and ran off. A towel falls from the stove and no one is pulling it, the cat notices this. Several objects move and fall from the kitchen cupboard. Bardenal explains that he does not own any other animals and there is no trace of rodents or any earthquake at the moment. I took him to my office and closed the door, there is his toilet and scratching post. For the rest of the night and the following nights he was quiet. But because he now gets his vaccination at the end of October, I wanted to ask the vet if this behavior is normal and what can be done about it. We are not sure what to do now, after watching the footage. A towel pulled down forcefully, heavy objects moved and dropped to the ground while the cat was motionless looking petrified, what idea did you have about this video? Let me know in the comments. Ghosts can see whoever they want. The video we are about to see was presumably shot in California, USA. On October 25, 2021 the user of the Reddit forum, named Satanic Tacos, active in the platform since 2017, posted a video entitled, Skeptic Here. We are lucky enough to have a one-year-old who sleeps through the night so when he was up crying for over two hours I knew something was off. After seeing the motion sensors going on and off we checked cameras. I don't think we will be sleeping either. In the video, a security camera placed outside the house films the building during a very strong wind night. Were you able to see it? In the left-hand corner from the center to the bottom of the video a strange translucent figure walks after exiting from under the loft of the house. The movements of the figure seem human, as if walking. In the comments to the video, Satanic Taco states that both he and his family are very skeptical about this kind of events. He says that a very hostile member of his family recently died, 
who was forbidden to be near the child, and the description matches this figure 6 feet, around 1.82 meters tall who seems to come out of the house and walk in the grass towards the low, swinging his arms. There is no evidence in the camera's aim to the baby in the crib. It would appear that something frighteningly human-like appears to be passing through the house. What do you think it is? Is this a camera glitch? Or, simply a whirlwind of grass and dirt? If you have any ideas to propose, leave a comment below. My imaginary friends. In the first place of our weekly ranking is the video posted on August 21, 2021 by the user TikTok named Genevieve's Monster, a young American woman who in 2016, while she was in her room, hears her little daughter talking to someone, but they were only her, and her daughter, alone in the house. Let's see. Lily, come here. Lily, who are you playing with? What are you doing? What? In front of the little child, a strange dark figure taller than her with the features of a girl, walks straight up to disappear in the left side of the hall. When asked by the users, the woman replies that she also has a son of the same height, but he was away from home. Some followers assume it is the shadow cast by the little child, but the dark figure appears to have long hair and a cape. Some more curious users have pointed out that there seems to be another dark shadow sitting at the end of the hall, looking in the direction of the central door, also with feminine features that seems to look in the same direction as the other shadow continues. Let's try to review the figures in slow motion by changing the light contrast. Who are the two strange, dark figures, next to the little child? Why are they looking in the left direction of the hall? Or is it a staging orchestrated by the mother? What is your opinion? Negative energy manifests itself. To celebrate the week of terror, which passes through Halloween and culminates with the Day of the Dead on November 2nd, we have added a bonus track to talk about a curious case that took place in Brazil. This video was posted by many YouTube channels showing investigations on the paranormal, all of them, and I repeat again, all of them report that originally the video was posted on the Reddit forum in October 2020 by the user Mr. Miracle BR, who in the title of the video declares, strange door baning during police operation in Brazil, saw it on a police officer's Twitter page today, very strange, seems like an abandoned hospital. This is a lie. There is no Twitter link for this video. Some users in the comments state that the video is by the famous YouTuber Renato Garcia, who usually enjoys airsoft tournaments in abandoned places with his friends. These comments are also false. The video in question is also posted in low resolution on Reddit. The truth is that it is a video posted on May 30, 2019 by the investigator of the paranormal on his YouTube channel Baiano Vicente, a Brazilian channel. The investigation was filmed at an old abandoned hospital in Manaus, the Santa Casa de Misericordia. Let's see it. Que que é isso, bicho? Foca lá, mano. Mano, tem uma porta batendo, bicho. Tu tá vendo isso aí, cara? Caralho, mano. Tu tá vendo isso, mano? Caralho, bicho. Que que é isso, mano? Tô tudo... Caramba, mano. Caralho, mano. Caralho, bicho. Não para, cara, não para. Caralho, mano. Que que é isso, mano? Que que é isso? Vou ajudar, cuidado, mano, aí. Caralho, mano, que que é isso, mano? Caralho, bicho, que que é isso, mano? Cuidado, Judá. Cuidado, mano, que que é isso, mano? Mano, não tem nada. Caralho, mano, que que é isso, bicho? Caralho, mano. Mano, que que é isso, bicho? Caralho, mano, bora, mano. Vai, mano, vai, vai, mano. Vai, mano, vai, mano. Vai, vai, mano. Vai, vai, mano. 
corre, corre. Caralho, mano, que que é isso, bicho? Que que é isso, mano? Caralho, bicho. Caralho, bicho. Caralho, mano, que que é isso, mano? Caralho, mano. In the comments around the web, many say that there is a line that allows the door to slam, but even in high resolution and with slow motion you cannot see any wire. Surely it is a historic building in Manaus, in business since 1880, which has seen many patients under treatment and several deaths. Our episode ends here, we'll see you tomorrow with a special Halloween, I wish you happy holidays and good fun but always in safety, the night always watches you. Don't forget to follow us on our social channels, and if you liked the video and you haven't done it yet, subscribe to help the channel. Thanks for watching, good night.